Hi everybody, I'm Miss Lise. I am a fifth grade teacher at the elementary school and today I'm going to be reading you the book Smelly Socks which is written by Robert Munch. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river and get some really good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there is no bridge, said Tina's mom. You know it is a long, long way and the only bridge to the only bridge. And besides, we don't have a car. So Tina went to her grandfather and said, can you please take me across the river in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor is not working on the boat, said her grandfather. Row, Tina said. We can row. I will row and you can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said her grandfather. Yes, said Tina. Rowing is easy. So Tina got in the boat and rowed slowly. Splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in circles. Swish, swish, swish. Tina rowed fast. Splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in fast circles. Swish, swish, swish. This boat has forgotten how to row, said Tina. You sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina sat in the back and told her grandfather how to row. And her grandfather rowed all the way across the river. Then they walked all the way through town to the big sock store. At the store, Tina tried on socks that were too big, socks that were too little, and socks that were too blue, and socks that were too pink. Tina tried on millions and millions of socks. Finally, she found a perfect pair of red, yellow, and green socks. Then, since it was almost time for dinner, Tina and her father, grandfather ran back to the boat, and this time, the boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rowed round and round and round, and still, got to the other side. When they got back, Tina ran home and yelled, socks, socks, wonderful socks. These are the best socks I have ever seen in my life. Grandpa rode me all the way across the river to get these socks. I am never going to take them off. Never, said Tina's mother. Never, said Tina. Uh-oh, said Tina's mother. So Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. Her mother said, Tina, I know you love these socks. Just let me wash them really quick. They will start to smell if you don't get them washed. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, the kids at school said, Tina, what a smell, change your socks. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, a whole flock of Canada geese flew over her house and dropped right out of the sky from the smell. Two moose walked through her yard and fell over from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, and squirrels fell over when she walked to school. Finally, even a skunk fell over from the smell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house and knocked on her door. Blam, blam, blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and carried her to the river. They held their noses and took off her socks. Some of the kids held Tina, and some of the kids washed the socks. Scrub, scrub, scrub. All the fish in the river floated up to the top and acted like they were dead. Some kids washed some more. Scrub, scrub, scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and went to live with Tina's grandfather. They washed some more. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Far down the river, people said, how come the river smells like dirty socks? Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina, they look nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina, they smell nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina, they feel nicer when they are clean. 
Tina put on the socks and said, I am going to wear clean socks from now on. The beavers left her grandfather's house and went back to the river. The Canada geese got up from the ground and flew away. And the fish decided that they were not dead after all and jumped and splashed in the river. Tina went to her mom and said, my socks are nice and clean and I think it would be very nice if you took me to town to get me a nice red, new red, yellow, and green shirt. Promise to wash it, said her mom. No, said Tina, if I wait long enough, the kids at school will wash it for me. Enjoy your summer.